All right, we're here with a Ford 1700, and uh, we're going to be cleaning the hydraulic screen. Uh, the The pump is making a noise where it sounds like it's it's you know sucking, and the uh, the the bucket doesn't quite have enough fluid to to operate smoothly. He says it's doing like a stutter when it goes up and down. The screen is behind this tube right there. All right, as it gets loose, it's oozing out from all around that gasket now. This looks like the kind of crud that you get when water mixes with oil. And it is a screen. We're using diesel to clean it up. So this is the gasket. Uh, we're looking at part number SBA 32499-0071. Okay, so aside from the hydraulic uh, filter mounting gasket, we also wound up having to buy four O-rings and replace about five gallons of hydraulic oil. If you can look at this uh, diagram here, uh, part 14 is the uh, hard line that we removed, and uh, on either side of it, it has two O-rings uh, to seal it up, so four total O-rings. And uh, that's all to gain access to part number 15, which is the hydraulic screen. Uh, the dealership recommended a SAE 10 weight oil, and that turns out to be the same as ISO 32. And uh, the part number for the O-rings is SBA 0524003000. Now the rest of this video is just a regular how-to, and that was just a quick intro. The screen is behind this tube right there. So we're going to loosen this tube and drop it down. To do that, to do that we're going to loosen this bracket. And we've already loosened the tube over here. And we're going to hope that gives us enough clearance. Just dropping it down, it'll pivot down out of the way so we can access the screen. All right, I've got a big breaker bar in this. We can see if we can get it loose. Easy. All right, so in theory, there's five gallons that can come out of here. Yeah, but I think because you've got a flange there, it's not all going to come out. Yeah. Let's get this loose again and start draining it. Let's see if I can open it up just a bit more so it doesn't take all day. It's coming out pretty good. Yeah, now you may be able to pull that out and get a little bit more as well. Just pull the tubing your way and see. I dropped my bolt into the bucket. Well, yeah, this thing looks like it's going to have plenty of motion to drop down once we get the bucket out of the way. Good. I can just crack that seal. Then we can start dumping the rest out. I'm going to try to leave the bolts loose. And if I need to, tighten them back up, stop it so I don't lose too much fluid on the ground. All right, as it gets loose, it's oozing out from all around that gasket now. Do you see the waves of color in this? Man, it's kind of hard to get a good view on it. But this, uh... <laughs> this fluid looks like it's got quite a bit of water in it. What do you say? I think so. <laughs> Alright, now we're at the top looking down. I'm just going to see if I can get this last okay. bolt out and remove the screen. Okay. That's how long it is. Alright, so I'm going to need to move the bucket so I can drop that arm down a bit. Okay, we had a bit of a, of a spill here. This looks like the kind of crud that you get when water mixes with oil. And it is a screen. We're using diesel to clean it up. There's a the gasket. The gasket's still good. Theory is <laughs> that with the amount of condensation in there, it could have either been the clogged screen or... It could be so much water in the oil that uh, it was, com you know, it was like compressing, like the water was compressing. Because hydraulic fluid, it, it gets pressurized and flowed, but it's like, it's not 
it's not something you, you can press into a different shape. Could have been either or both uh, issues here. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to clean up this, this seat and uh, reinstall it uh, with the old, old gasket. See if it, see if it holds. All right, I've opted to use the uh, new gasket. See right there. It's just a paper gasket, and it's pretty simple. You could cut one of these if you were in a pickle. Uh, I'll start a couple bolts in it, keep it aligned. I got them all finger tight, so I'm just going to do sort of the standard star pattern, compress that thing nice and flat. I cleaned up the surfaces real well. There's no uh, residual gasket or anything to get in my way. This should be a perfect brand new seal. Alright, so on the inside of the pipe, little o-ring there, uh, pretty well compressed. Has a little bit of pookie holding it in there. Mm. It's intact, but it's been compressed pretty well. I can feel it. It's still kind of raised on top. Well, we could try with it. <laughs> okay, I got the entire uh, hard line loose. On either side of them, there's an O-ring. All right, so I went and I found the O-rings at my local hardware store. But there's one on either side on both ends of this thing. So four O-rings that you need. I got the part number in the description. All right, we got those O-rings in. Okay. Tightening it up. Torque her down, we may have to re-torque and that'd be okay. I'm gonna put 10 trillion foot pounds on it. Oh yeah, one ladybug in there. <laughs> 